So the con man has written another letter to the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. Sukesh Chandra Shekhar has written in this letter to Delhi LG, again demanding a CBI investigation. Sundra Shekhar is highlighting more details in this new letter and says about uh, the transactions that were also reportedly made. Let's go quickly to India today's Arvind Oja for the details. Arvind, ye kya nai chitthi hai letter jo likha gaya hai Lieutenant Governor ko? Isme kis tarah ki baat cheet exactly kai gai hai? Kya isme bhi Mukhya Mantri ya kisi political party ka mention hai? Arvind, kya meri awaz aari hai aapko? All right, so Arvind Oja is uh, getting us this uh, big breaking news. Remember, Sukesh Chandrasekhar has suddenly sprung into action. He's been writing letters and he said he's written it earlier as well. They were largely ignored, but he has alleged uh, a political protection money that he was willing to offer as well and much more to which, remember, Arvind Kejriwal had uh, responded to India today refuting all the allegations that the con man has made. But with this new letter that has been written, it appears Sukesh Chandrasekhar is still defined. He's asking, why don't you then initiate an investigation by the CBI about the transactions that, uh, that have been made? This, remember, while he is in Tihar prison, so is uh, Amadmi Party's Minister Satendra Jain. Let's now go quickly because it's uh, becoming a huge political issue. BJP Shahzad Poonawala is joining me today morning. Shahzad, another letter written by uh, Sukesh Chandrasekhar referring to transactions made here. Of, of course, while well, the Ahmadmi Party has completely refuted any allegation. You see, uh, I'm learning about this letter from your channel, and therefore I would only say that this is a candid confession that Ahmadmi Party ki ekhi upalabdi samne aayi ugai. The, uh, Kamai and the manner in which they were doing Thagai. And Thagai of a Thug, that means they are a party of Mahathas. Now, today the question that needs to be answered by the Amadmi party is that did they take 10 crore rupees as protection money? Did they take 50 crore rupees for a Rajya Sabha seat? Was the money exchanged at Kailash Gailo's farmhouse? Was Satyendra Jain kept as a minister and continues to be a minister for this purpose? Is this the reason why the Amadi party continues to defend them? Now, Mr. Kejriwal should allow a free and fair probe, and that can happen only when he allows both of these ministers to step down. There is a free and fair probe on all the allegations. Let there be an investigation and let, their, mm. uh, let the truth come out. But Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is defending these people, and it therefore seems that mm. there is something to hide, and therefore he's not taking action on Satyendra Jain, who's in jail for four and a half months, because the court hasn't given him relief. All right, Shahzad Poonawala, thank you so much for now, BJP spokesperson. This, remember, while uh, in this new letter, there are even further defiant allegations that are coming in. Uh, now joining me is India Today's Arvind Oja, who gets us the latest of this letter. Arvind, this letter comes when the last time we talked about Satyendra Jain, we talked about 50 crore, we talked about the ticket distribution. What is written in this letter? Mein kya likha gaya? Arvind Oja has got us this letter about Sukesh Chandrasekhar, the con man who has uh, written this letter and he's in, even complained that uh, uh, after his letter and details about Satyendra Jain and ex, uh, the RJ, DG had gone public, there have been threats against him and he clearly uh, now says, why don't you go ahead and have a further investigation and why was Arvind Kejriwal in touch with me?